We slog through the winter here in Maine. We're always looking for new forms of entertainment. For Bull Moose, Chris Brown and Mick Workhoven are with us today to talk about some of the new releases. We got, what, two albums, a video, and a book, correct? That's correct. Let yes. us begin with the book, and you're both enthusiastic about this one. It's by Rupert Holmes, terrific composer, songwriter. It's called Murder Your Employer, The McMaster's Guide to Homicide. But this is not what he's best known for, which is pop music or Broadway or anything like that. Straightforward book. Right. This is a humorous crime novel. It's, it's the story of three people who go to a school to learn how to murder somebody. In two pe cases, it's their employer, their boss. They want All right. Now, people are saying, well, why are you talking about this? And who's Rupert oh, Holmes? Who's well, Rupert we've Holmes. got some explanation <laughs> okay. here. You brought in your 45, Chris. Yes. Who is Rupert Holmes? What is he most famous for? Well, es Escape the Pina Colada song is the is the song, and yeah, I've got the, had the record back. You got from, your 45 of the kid, Pina yeah, Colada got, song. Had that since it came out. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so the, he's cleverly constructed the book. It's wrapped, so it's the story, but it's, it's wrapped in this uh, textbook from the school. So um, kind of like how The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a book the story is kind of inserted in. In fact, it's people who like Douglas Adams would enjoy this because it's that dry British sense of So it's a, it's a really clever piece of work. And, and, and we interviewed Rupert Holmes here on 207 last summer when he was at a Gunkwood Playhouse for his production of The Nutty Professor. And he is a wonderful storyteller. So although I have not read the book, I bet it's a winner. Well, let's move on to a new uh, video release. Uh, this is Puss in Boots. The Last Wish, and this is a spin-off from a sequel to what, Mick? This is the sequel to the spin-off of Shrek. Um, and, uh, you know, mimetic energy aside, everybody on the internet loves Shrek. These movies are actually like, super good. So uh, Antonio Banderas is Puss in Boots. Right. Uh, Salma Hayek is uh, his partner in crying, Kitty Softpaws. Uh, there's a... There's a dog that thinks he's a cat. Uh, he's actually Puss in Boots' therapy dog who acts like a cat. And then uh, rounding out the cast, you have Death, um, as in the Grim Reaper. No, Puss in Boots doesn't need a spotter. Watch. Uh -huh. Watch. A cat always lands on his feet. Watch. You are down to your last life. It's Mama. really, really good. And, I don't is, know. and this is one of those that's great for all it's ages, It's great for all right? ages. Great for all ages. So Shrek sort of like shifted the paradigm in like, animated movies are just for kids into being like cross-generational um, and there's all kinds of referential humor um, and there's also a bunch of neat animation tricks in this one it's obviously all cgi but they add in a bunch of flourishes like texture and cell shading and and stuff like that so it's, it's got fun. it all good look good story great voicing cats big winner yeah cats <laughs> like that with swords <laughs> let's move on to the new music that uh, is out and uh, we got one with a great main angle the arguably greatest country singer, most successful country singer ever to come out of Maine is Dick Curlis. And nice. this CD. is a copy of the new CD, which is called The Basement Tapes. What's the story here, Chris? These are songs that his daughter Terry asked him to record. They're just his songs from throughout his career right. that um, he recorded. It's just him and his guitar and a really nice reverb, actually. And it's a really sweet recording. Um, he goes for, like, you can just really hear how much he loves his daughter, and he must have really loved his wife. It's just beautiful. And his voice, you think of him as kind of a tough guy because of the eye patch and right. stuff, but he's beautiful. These songs are just, it's so sweet. And, and Dick Curlis is really enjoying a moment right now because there's a wonderful exhibition about him at the Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville, which has got all kinds of memorabilia, photos, and other things. So anyone who's not familiar with Dick Curlis and his music, and you really should listen to it, this is a great introduction. Yeah, fans of old country are going to love this. Yeah. Absolutely. It's all right, one more new album to talk about. Tally Hall. Good and evil. What have we got here, Mick? Uh, so I guess I'm talking about things from 2011 because the Puss in Boots and Tally Hall both came out in 2011. Anyway, Tally Hall is my favorite band of all time. They were this group of music majors from Ann Arbor that played what they called wonky pop rock, which is just they took a bunch of musical styles and smashed them all together. And they had a medium amount of success back in the day. Um, and then something really funny happened a couple of years ago, and they went like uber viral on the internet because of streaming algorithms and TikTok. And they had this whole new generation of young, super excited fans who were like, oh my gosh, 
I wish I could have been alive, you know, when Tally Hall was touring, which is kind of a moment for me because I'm like, oh no, like I'm not in the young generation Did anymore. It, make you feel old? it does make me feel a little <laughs> bit old, but their songs are like so fun and so clever. And it's kind of like you take the bare naked ladies and they might be giants uh -huh. and combine them. So you have that clever whimsicalness with uh, vocal harmonies. All right, four new releases, two of them albums, and a nice wide range, which is what we'd like to offer. <laughs> and we should mention oh. Dick Curlis, his son-in-law, was Bill Chunick, uh, a hugely talented shirt. musician in his own right, and you're wearing your Bill Chunick t-shirt. Yes. He's on the CD on, at the bonus tracks. All too. right, we've got to leave it there. Thank you both, and stick around. Back with more of 207 right after this. <laughs>